Winter is long gone, but that doesn't necessarily mean you need to put away the snowmobile. For this week's Northwoods Adventure, Clayton Castle takes us to the Brainerd International Raceway for some watercross racing. Don't put away your snowmobiles quite yet for the summer because now it's time for the watercross races at the Brainerd International Raceway. Yeah, this past weekend was uh, the fifth year in a row that BIR has been hosting the IWA, the International Watercross Association, in their uh, wet and wild weekend here at BIR. Um, we had several things going on. We had a, a bracket drag race, we had a motorcycle road race, and of course we had the snowmobile water skips, of which I've been partaking in the last five years. Jed was one of many racers who placed in the event that featured a number of different categories over the three-day event. It was, a, it was a special one for me, first time in five years I actually got a podium finish, third place and semi-pro open. Racers came from all over the place, and for Jed and others, racing on snowmobiles has become a passion. It's, it's fun to do, it's fun to watch, it's really fun to watch because you watch these guys, when they screw up, they, they go down. It's not like a watercraft you get back on. It's a special pontoon retriever, pops it out of the water, brings it back to shore. You got some work ahead of you to get it flipped over for the next heat, so it's, uh, it's definitely entertaining. Just something I've always liked to do, I guess. I never really started riding on water until a year ago. Just thought it would be fun to try. Had the chance to build a sled, so we did it, and here we are out here racing. So For Corey, this event is special because Brainerd is his hometown, and he's racing in his hometown race. Uh, well, this is the closest race to home, so it's, this is my hometown race. A lot of family and friends come here. It makes it really fun. So. The raceway was open for other events throughout the day, including some drag racing, which hosted the Bracket Drag Racing Series, which was made up after a rainout earlier this year. And fans were the real winners as they got to see all the events for one low price. According to raceway officials, weekends like this will happen often throughout the summer. This was the first of two watercross events being held at BIR in 2017. The other event takes place on September 24th. Reporting from BIR for this week's Northwoods Adventure, Clayton Castle, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.